Hi, this is Matt with Cheap ABS, and today I'm going to show you how to remove an ABS module from a 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix. Earlier Grand Prix from 98 and up uh, should be similar, um, but this is specific for the 2004 model. Um, the difficulty uh, in removing an ABS module pretty much just depends on where the module is located. And on the Pontiac Grand Prix, we're lucky because it's very easy to get to. So. You don't have to remove anything to get it, just pop the hood and you can see that it's, the ABS module is located right here on the right side. So this is what we're going to be taking off. This is, this is the ABS hydraulic pump that all of the, the hard brake lines are attached to. We're going to leave this alone and all we're going to do is just remove the control module from it. It's held on with six T20 torque screws, two on top, two in the middle, and two in the bottom, which you really can't see, but which are still accessible. So the first thing we want to do is just get to give ourselves some more room to work is remove the large electrical harness um, which sends the signal, uh, the power and all the wheel speed sensors go through this harness. So we're just going to remove this out of the way. It's just simply a pull tab and just gently wiggle it to break it free and take your time and ease it out. And as you pull the tab out it's going to lift up vertically off of the module, so there's no, no reason to actually try and lift it off. If you do, you might end up breaking off the retaining tabs that hold it in place. So, just wiggle it back and forth and it's coming out a little bit. And now it's off and just tuck this harness out of the way and you can see also there's this other uh, bundle of wires right here that we can go ahead and remove just to give ourselves some more room to work you don't have to but it's easy enough to remove it then you might as well so just press in on the sides and this connector comes right off and go ahead and tuck that out of the way too and we have everything that we needed to remove to get to the ABS module so uh, we can start by taking off the two top screws. Those are the easiest to get to. And Okay, so we're, we will remove the first two screws on top first. Just need a T20 socket and a um, socket wrench, or you can use a screwdriver or um, a power drill with a T20 socket attached. There's many different ways to get these off. And these are readily accessible. Just keep in mind they may be rusted so make sure you, your, your, your bit has a very good bite on it um, before you start twisting it because the last thing you want to do is strip these out. And that's more of a concern with the two on the bottom than it is on the ones on the top but still make sure make sure that it's fully engaged before you start taking the screws out. So we've got the top two screws off now we'll remove the middle ones. Um, for these I'm going to use a, a screwdriver because you need a little bit of a longer extension to reach back in there. So, same deal as before, just make sure that the bit is all the way engaged before you start turning it. And then just remove these two screws. So now we've removed the top two screws, the middle two screws, and now we have to remove the ones towards the bottom. Um, these are also just accessible with a flat screwdriver and uh, you know you could remove this um, piece between the airbox and the intake out of the way uh, if you wanted to but really it's not even necessary so just screw these last two screws out then the module should be free from the pump so now all six modules have been, uh, all, all six screws have been removed from the module so the module is loose now and it's ready to be pulled off except for We've removed the large connector on top, but there's also a smaller connector on the bottom that you can't see that it, has, it supplies the power to the module. So we need to remove this smaller kind of hidden electric, electrical connector first before we can uh, remove the module. So all you need to do to get this one off, it's held on by a clip and just take a flathead screwdriver and gently very gently lift the clip up uh, over top of its um, retainer, and then you can then you can pull the connector out of the way. And 
And here you can see the connector coming off. And then you can pull the whole module off of the pump. So that's where the connector goes and this is the hidden two wire connector here. So for these bottom for these bottom screws, you can see that they are a little bit rusted. Like I said, it's more of a concern with the bottom ones than it is for the top four. So for these, again, make sure that you have a very good bite with your screwdriver or bit before you start twisting them out. So this is the control module. Please make sure that none of the solenoids that are loose on the bottom are stuck or adhered. Never try to force it off. This is all you need to send uh, send it, send us for repair. Um, so just go on the website www.cheapabs.com and fill out the order form to send this in to get it repaired. Uh, it'll only take us about a day to fix it and you'll have it back within a couple of days. Um, when you send it in, just put it in a small box, wrap some bubble wrap around to protect it and take a, take a piece of uh, scotch tape, or not, not scotch tape, but packing tape and press it against the bottom to make sure that these solenoids don't move during shipment. Then when you plug it back in, it should be plug and play, no recoding required. And everything should be back to normal.